So I just arrived into this new world. This is the new town where I suppose we are going to be living for this series. You can see a couple of houses already, which I'm assuming they're from some of the villages that live here, or some of the sims in this case. Um, you know what? I'm going to go into this beautiful house here. It's so cute. We'll see. Knock knock. Well, I do apologize if they don't like intruders, but... Oh! This is a cute house. Okay, so this house has a cute little kitchen, you know, very simple, very cute. Oh, I like this, like, view, you know, you can see the beautiful ocean over there. It's really nice. So this is like a cute little table, a table for four. A nice living room, and then well, this is something. It's comfy. I love it. <laughs> and I see a couple of stairs here, so I'm going to go to the top of this house and see if oh. That's the house owner. Okay, so we got our first sim here. His name is Terence. He is unemployed. And... Oh! He's single. Oh, thank God, because he's freaking cute. <laughs> this must be his room. You know, cute, nice, like, bed. And... Wow, he has a lot of clothing. Good for you, Terence. Can I talk to him? Oh wow, a new face. Simply refreshing. So we got two options here. Just arrived, which is your new neighbor here. And yours is cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so it's very important because just like Sims, it's important to create relationships with other Sims. Depending on the choices that we make, we get to, you know, either be friendly or, you know, we can be a little flirty, which can maybe end up in an actual, like, relationship with the Sims. I guess we'll choose both to see what he would say. So just arrive, your new neighbor here. Let's see. Finally, something new going around here. Welcome to town. Oh, wow. That was quite something. I want to see... Oh wow, a new face. Simply refreshing. And yours is cute, not gonna lie. You want me to show you a around town, cutie? Oh, please! So Terence is telling me that he's going to give me a little tour around this small town that I just spawned in and I'm, that I'm basically going to be living here for a while. So let's just go with him and meet the other people from the town. Well, this house is really cute. I like the big tree here. It's very like, it looks very natural. And I like that. So we are going in. Ooh! And close the door. So a cute little kitchen. Then again, this these houses have amazing views. The beautiful greenery, you know, we have a cute like this house is a little smaller, but it's really cute and comfy. Then again another table. Some books. You know, just walking around and giving ourselves a little tour of the house to see what we've got in store and there's also some stairs so let's go up oh so this is Therese she's currently unemployed and also single which is good in this case it's very good that we have two options you know we have a male option we have a female option as you know in this channel we're very open-minded so this will be interesting to know or to see which one is 
the perfect match for us. But as for now, we are not going to settle down. So let's chat with her. I want to see her face, but she's not turning around. Maybe she's a little shy. Hello. Oh dear, who must this be? So your house is lovely. You are lovely. <laughs> um, you know, just the Terrans, we're going to do both. So let's go with your house is lovely. Enchanté et bienvenue. We are always fond of new visitors. Well, thank you, Therese. Aren't you just so, so nice? She's really cute. I just wished we weren't on top of these stairs staring at each other awkwardly, but... Yeah, she's, she's definitely a little shy. I like her outfit, though. She looks super cute. I love her hair. Let's go with the other option now. So, you are lovely. Oh dear, who must this be? You are lovely. I suddenly look like a tomato. Blushes. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her already and I love her flower on top of her head. As you know, I am a flower boy myself, so she could be the perfect match for me. But we'll see. We don't know yet. Well... If you would excuse me, my darling, I want to see your room. Oh, wow. Her room is very, very cute. It's very small, very cozy. I like that. And she, apparently, I can see that she likes to read a lot, which is something that I love myself. So, you know, she might be the one. We don't know. I'm really, I'm really undecisive. Oh, she's coming here. And she has a beautiful, like, small place here. Oh, wow. Look at that view over there. Like, that's the place I came from, you know. I came here by boat. <laughs> wow, she does have a beautiful view here. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful forest. There's one of the mods here. I forgot the name right now, but it basically makes this world have different seasons. And the weather is randomized as well, so it can be raining, it can be snowing. Uh, judging by the leaves, I'm assuming we are in fall right now. This is the season we are currently on. Uh, so that means that we might get winter coming soon, hopefully soon. Because that would be really cool. The trees look beautiful. And I love the flowers. Wow. The way to a man's heart. Is flowers. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Therese. I'll see you around in town. She really likes to go into that corner. You know, she's a little bit shy. You know, they haven't seen anyone new for ages in this town, so they're not used to newcomers. I really do like her house, though. It's really cute. Yeah, let's go, Terrence. Right now, apparently, there's other two people that live up on that mountain top over there, and there's a cute bridge that we need to cross. So right now, there's only three houses available, three available uh, lots for people living here. So we've met Terence, we've met Teres, and now we're meeting the last two Sims that live in this world. I'm excited. Look at that view over there, it looks beautiful. And then we can see Teresa's house. And this one right here is Terence's house. Wow. Beautiful. Let's go in. Hello? Oh! So, wow, their house is really cute. Oh, this is like the bedroom area. And this is like a small like living room. So her name is Kelly. She's currently unemployed and she's taken. So this is someone that we cannot date. This is not a dateable sim because she's taken. Let me speak to her. 
So you're the newcomer. You know me? Word travels fast here. We are a small town. Oh dear. I like her outfit. She looks very cute. I love her hair. Oh, it just starts raining. We have some thunderstorm going on. You're very nice, Kelly. I love your hat. Oh, but there's someone else living here. So this is Mary, and she's unemployed. I can't read what's... I can't read your, your status. Oh, she's taken. I want to see your face, Mary. Oh, Mary's cute. I love the flowers. Girlfriend here. I mean, we. I did assume that because these are the, literally the only people that are living in this Sims world right now. So Mary and Kelly are dating, which so cute. We love a lesbian couple in our Sims world. Yes, this... It's the, literally the best choice for this conversation. You two lovers are adorable. I like him already. My new bestie. <laughs> yes, Mary, I literally, you know, I need to decide because I am really into Terence and I'm also really, really into Therese. Like, who, who should I choose? You know, we really need to just go out one day and talk about it. Plus... You guys are the only official couple on the island, which means that you really know a lot about having stable relationships. I would really, really, really would appreciate that sort of advice in my life. <laughs> I really like her though, she's really cute. And their kitchen is really cute, a lot of the paintings. Uh, they are just lovely. I love them. They're meant to be together. Bye Mary. Bye Kelly. Wow, that was lovely. So Terence just left. It was very nice of him to Give me a little tour around the place and introducing me to the new neighbors and the sims in this world he told me that this is the area where i should be allowed to build my house so right now what i'm going to do is to actually build my house for the series it's just like in sims we're going to go into build mode and uh, we can definitely upgrade it later especially when once we start making some simoleons to upgrade it <laughs> think do you guys like it i'm going to show you around and give you a little tour the outside for now is very simple as you can see there's a lot of greenery going on and of course i made this path to go on with the parts that connect with the other houses especially the other residents that we have met so far and of course our neighbors right there kelly and mary when it came to the design, I wanted to keep it very monochromatic almost. In contrast with this like white wood, I thought that really dark colors would look great with it. So I just used a lot of dark brown with a lot of different types of wood. 
I just really like it. I like the shape. And yeah, we are excited to start this series. I'm so happy. So let me give you a little tour of the inside. So voila, this is my house from the inside. So I wanted to build like a small like launch area, you know, if I have any visitors. Then if you come to this part, so we've got a little table, like dining table, if I want to invite my neighbors over for some lunch. And of course, I made sure I had lots of chairs for them to sit down so we could all eat together. The kitchen, I just really like this concept of open kitchen, not a lot of walls. And the fact that you can just reach the kitchen right away, I like that. Very monochromatic design for the kitchen. And I think it looks very cute. Go through these stairs and we reach the top. In this case, I made like a little like library because my character is a bookworm as one of his inspirations. You know, this is head canon. <laughs> And um, he also wants to be a musician. So we got him a really nice piano so he can work on his hobbies. This is the bedroom, really small, really cute. We got the bed, bedside uh, cabinets and a closet. And then this cute like rabbit plushie I found. And then this last door is for the cute little bathroom. We've got the sink, the tub, and then a small little toilet. As you can see, I left the like the this part like open so it looked like the Sims, you know, that when you can go on top and see the different rooms. And I really like this view. Look at it, it looks really, really good. Oh did someone just rank my bell? I need to go downstairs to see what's going on. What is going on? What's happening? So the welcome wagon came to my house right now and I let everyone in of course. I was lucky enough to have met them before and I actually really like my neighbours. So I'm really happy to have them here and I will use this time to interact with them. Are you a parking ticket by any chance? Because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> done with my life. <laughs> oh, y'all have been together for three years? Wow, that's so amazing. Oh no, don't even. Like, my life right now, single, Pringle, but I'm ready to mingle. You know, I'm just moving to town and maybe this is my love arc. This is my new story. I might find the love of my life here. Who knows? Yeah, like I was saying, Mary, like I'm really, really, really into Terence. But then again, Therese brought the fruit cake. And I love fruit cake. It's delicious. Oh, you do seem to be interested in reading. What do you like to read about? No way. I also like that too. Oh yes, I know. This fruitcake is fantastic. Yeah, Therese really did an amazing job. So... Hi. How are you doing, Therese? I just wanted to say that I'm... I really, um, I really liked the fruitcake you brought over and you look very beautiful today, you know. I am really excited to be living in this town with you in it. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's it for this first episode. Subscribe, you know, it's free and I will create more content for you in the future. And if you really want to know what's going up with this new town, the new builds, and also the relationships with these new characters, you might not want to miss that out. So please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. 
Bye-bye.